Good morning. You are kindly requested at this time to turn off all electronic devices, including cell phones. St. Anthony of Padua's parish family welcomes all who have gathered for our liturgy for the seventh Sunday of Easter. Stephen, the first martyr of the infant church, washes his robe in the blood of the Lamb, the Alpha and the Omega. He proclaims Jesus Lord and King, most high over all the earth. In him may we all become one. This liturgy is being offered for the happy repose of the soul of Vincenza Formali on the first anniversary of her passing. We begin our prayer by standing and joining in singing number 519, Sing to the Mountains, number 519. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. Glory to God, glory 
to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people. Graciously hear our supplication is, O oh Lord, that we who believe that the Savior of human race is with, uh, with you in your glory may experience as he promised until the end of the world his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The readings can be found at number 1082, number 1082. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord, Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. The word of the Lord. The words to the antiphon to the psalm are, The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Lord is King. The Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King. The Lord is King. The Most High over all the earth. Let earth rejoice the Lord God reigns exalt you shores be glad you plains justice serves as God's high throne Alleluia the Lord is King The skies proclaim that God is just, God's glory plain to all of us. Unseen spirits join our song.
Reading from the book of Revelation, I, John, heard a voice saying to me, Behold, I am coming soon. I bring with me the recompense I will give to each according to his needs. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are they who wash their robes so as to have the right to the tree of life and enter the city through its gates. I, Jesus, sent an angel to you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let the hearer say, come. Let the one who thirsts come forward. And the one who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. The one who gives this testimony says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to John, lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one. As your Father, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you loved me even as you loved me. You loved them as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the seventh Sunday of Easter. 
And our theme is waiting for the Holy Spirit. You well know that we are in novena of Pentecost on the 5th of June, Sunday, we shall celebrate Pentecost. And Pentecost, as you well know, is the birth of the church. The church was born on Pentecost. That's when the disciples of Fishery were commissioned to go and proclaim the good news of love and of salvation. And today, it is also a memorial weekend. We remember those men and women who served us and are not especially still with us. We pray for them, we love them. The first reading The most striking future in the first reading is the death of Stephen, which is similar to the death of his master, Jesus. Stephen, the first deacon and the first martyr, martyr in Greek means witness. He gave his life for his master. He proclaimed the truth, and as we heard, they didn't want to hear it. They closed their ears, which means they didn't want to hear it. And they led him outside the city and stoned him. And among those involved was Saul, Paul, who later was called Paul, whom we know as Saint Paul. And maybe his attitude, the attitude of Stephen, forgiving even his enemies, as Jesus forgave his enemies, even on the cross. You will be with me in paradise. This is really, this was really a son of God. Forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Those words worked on Saul, who later became Paul, and he was converted and became a believer. What we see in the Acts of Apostles written by St. Luke is the continuation of the church, the church led by the Holy Spirit, inspired by the Holy Spirit made the disciples to grow in number and in grace. They preached broadly. They were ready to give even their lives to witness to Jesus. The second reading, St. John, in Revelation, sees again a vision of Jesus the second coming of Jesus, which we are waiting for. And Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha is the first name in Greek, A. Omega is Z, the last and the end. 
the beginning and the end. He's all of that we need. When we have Jesus, when we have God, we have everything. We are not poor because he is the creator of everything. And Jesus is the root of Joseph. He's the descendant of Joseph. And the morning star, which gives hope. Venus in Greek was the star that rises in the morning and gives hope to the people, the sailors. All of them, they can trace now where they are going. And so, if we participate in Jesus' life, death, the Paschal mystery, we shall also be with him in the glory. The gospel, Jesus gives his last words. He prays for you and me that all who believe or who will believe in him may be united. Unity, we need unity. They may be one as the Trinity is one. They may be one so that they may be with God here and in the life to come. Consecrate them in the truth. They may live the truth and preach the truth. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And above all, they may love one another. They may love God with all their heart and with all their mind and with all their being and they may love one another as the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit love one another. Jesus prays that his disciples may be united, that they may share the unity of the Trinity, and he prays that his disciples will be with him in glory. We pray through our mother Mary, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, who was in the first synagogue, praying with the apostles, for the promise of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. I can imagine her telling the apostles, come on, come on, let's pray. Do as he told you and you will see. And indeed, they prayed, they did all that they could and they received the Holy Spirit and they went and proclaimed bloodly the living God. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God.
Jesus prayed for his disciples and for unity. We now join him in that great prayer. Our response to each petition will be, Risen Savior, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to be the sign and source of the unity of the human family, we pray to the Lord, Risen, Risen Savior, Savior, hear our prayer. prayer that all Christian denominations may draw closer to one another in charity by drawing closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the service of our nation, that God's glory will shine upon them and that they may share in the peace of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all who were killed or injured in the shootings in Texas, that they and their families may find God's comfort. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. That those in our families and our parish who are burdened, ill, or alone may experience comfort from our active concern and God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For the people of the parish, that our merciful Father may continue to bless us and keep us together as one parish family. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Vincenza Formali and our recently deceased, Paul Rinaldi and Marie Fleck, that they may be welcomed into the eternal joy of their Lord. We pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold close to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Father, as you answer our prayers, grant that we may steadfastly proclaim the first coming of your Son and eagerly prepare for his second coming. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we offer our gifts to the Father, we join in singing number 658, Seek Ye First, number 658. Shine. 
and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offering that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are claimed. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be powered out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We welcome them to the light of your face. How much on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to take his gender on my roof, but only say the word in my soul
As we come forward to receive Jesus, we join in singing number 914, Lord, who art your first Eucharist, number 914. <clears throat>
Hear us, O oh God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole church what has already come to pass in Christ her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give you the humble pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Tomorrow we will have a 9 a.m. Mass at the chapel in the cemetery mausoleum. There will be no 7 p.m. Mass, and the office will be closed. We are in need of bakers for our Pentecost Festival on Sunday, June 5th. There are sign-up sheets in the vestibule. June 12th from 11.30 to 7 is our Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. There are sign-up sheets also in the vestibule. Please consider signing up and spending some private time with the Blessed Sacrament. Renewed in faith, let us join in singing number 984, America the Beautiful. Number 984, we will be singing verses, verse 3.